Hi YouTube, how you're going? Uh, just put a video up on how I trained for the world's toughest mutter and in that video I said that I had obviously only had five or six weeks from the time I qualified to the time I was going to the event and as a result I didn't have a lot of time to kind of switch up my training and obviously sports science would you know suggest that you can't increase endurance in such a short window of time but you know I had to give it my best and I obviously did focus on doing more longer runs and that kind of thing. So check that video out if you want to kind of know how I trained um, in such a short period of time. I did five laps and I think the training that I did would be able to get you to six if you know things went right and you didn't pick up niggling injuries and that kind of thing. To go beyond six is what I would consider to start being competitive, so seven, eight, nine. Um, you know, once you're getting into those numbers, I think you know you 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 could be you're obviously going to be at the pointy end of the field and you know, you're going to be in a position where you're going to start to think you might have a crack, if not at winning, but you know, a top 10 or something like that. Uh, so if I had my time again uh, and had like a 6 or 12 month lead in, I'd certainly do my training differently. From what I've read of Pac uh, and saw, seen on Facebook, he was running apparently up to 200 miles a week. And I think that that is what you would need to do to be competitive. Um, you know, 200 might be your maximum, but you're going to need to be between, say, 150 miles and 200 miles. And when, when I've mentioned that to people, they've said, wow, like 200 miles, when does this guy have time to do that? And I kind of was a bit like, wow, that is a lot of time, you know, 200 miles. Um, but there is another ultra runner uh, who I follow on YouTube, and he runs 190, 200 miles a week as well. So if you're doing these endurance events, that's just what you've got to do. I, uh, you know, it, it's the, that's the training that these guys do. So if you want to be competitive, you, you've got to match it. Um, so initially as well, like I was going to plan on going to the 2013 event and I was going to plan to being able to build up my run so I'd be able to run for 100 kilometers in one go, um, you know, without stopping. And I thought that that would take, you know, at least six, probably 12 months to build up to be able to do that. So with my training, if I had that 12 months, um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to the world's toughest mitre next year just because I'm from Australia, it's a lot of money to get there, that kind of thing. It'd, it'd, be, it'd be great if someone could help out with that. <laughs> but um, yeah, if I had that 12 months again, I would obviously look at doing a program where the amount of run, you know, the amount of kilometers on the amount of miles, sorry, that I'd be doing in a week would peak at 200. And I'd want to find, I guess, an ultra marathon or even, you know, if you just go out by yourself and do a couple of runs where you run 100 kilometers consistently without stopping. So your body gets used to that. Um, that's how I'd kind of do my training if I had the time over. So lot, lots more kilometers in the legs just in general, whether it's running, you know, 30 miles a day for seven days or doing like a 50 mile run on the weekend and then sh a few kind of shorter runs or whatever, but build up so you have that huge mileage in the bank and also um, find some events along the way where you're not, you're not concerned about the place, you're not concerned about you know, your time is such, you're just concerned about getting 100 kilometers in the legs in one go, or maybe even more, you know, depending, 100, you could do a 100 mile race if you wanted to, you know, get really serious about it. In terms of the um, kind of weight-based training that I did, I wouldn't necessarily change the amount that I do, because I go to the gym five days a week, but I would change, um, the, I guess the types of exercises and try and get more benefit out of what I do. Um, so focus on more kind of exercise like pull-ups, chin-ups, stuff that's going to help on funky monkey and hanging tough and, and those kind of obstacles as well as like Berlin walls. Maybe do a little bit, not so much body weight exercise, but stuff where you know, you're pushing or pulling a sled of weights, that kind of thing where you're engaging more muscles and you know you're not just sitting in a, a chair on a bench you know pushing out weights that kind of thing so that's how I would change my weight based training I'd probably also take instead of those five sessions in the gym maybe you do two or three and then you find an outdoor area and 
you know, you get like a big tractor tire and use that or those heavy ropes and, you know, find things that are functional and you can do um, that incorporates, I guess, a bit of cardio and weight training into it. I also saw um, that Pac mentioned somewhere that he tried to replicate some of the obstacles and that kind of thing. I heard one in particular, he had the tire carry, he said he'd, he'd trained with that throughout the year. I've also seen like Hobie Call, the Spartan racer, like he has his own Berlin walls in his um, garage. I'm not sure how high they are, but they've got a gap underneath, so he jumps up over the thing, crawls under, jumps up, over, under. And you can do it, you know, four or five times in a go and then go off for a sprint, come back, do it again, that kind of thing. So if you could do stuff like that, I think that would be great uh, as well. So in summary, more miles, better exercises at the gym that focus more on, you know, what you're going to need to be doing in the event and switching up some of those weight-based sessions to incorporate a bit of a, like a full body workout with, things that you know you have to lift pull push that kind of thing that's just my thoughts guys on what i think it would take to go that next stage um, at world stuff as matter and be competitive let us know your thoughts how did you train how would you train differently and as always please uh rate comment and subscribe if you like the video thanks very much